So hey there, uh, welcome to 2019. Uh, today's April 6th, it's uh, 1 p.m. Um, and we are at Sleepy Hollow State Park. Um, we are, we're on the trail. We're actually at the, one of the, the first junctions which I'm, which I'm starting at, um, which I can show it to you here. So we're at junction, junction eight, and it's clearly um, very well marked. Um, junction 6 goes uh, that way, Junction 7 goes that way, so we're going to take 7 to 6 and then continue on. Um, the weather is beautiful, it's about 60, 62 degrees. Um, as you can tell, the sun is out, blue, uh, blue skies with clouds, and uh, so far the, the, trail, the trail looks great. Um, I have seen the low spots, it's going to be muddy, but uh, this, is, this is pretty nice. So. Um, my intention after hiking Thanksgiving uh, back in the, back at the uh, the Shawnee uh, State Park backpack trail, uh, my intention was to um, actually get out and hike at least once once a month. Um, January got a little got a little crazy at work. Been super busy. But, uh, but February was really tough. Uh, I couldn't have gotten out if I wanted to. I was uh, I spent two weeks at home on the couch with uh, walking pneumonia, and then uh, I had um, a touch of bronchitis at the tail end of it. So uh, pretty much a February was just uh, just taking it easy, you know. Taking the medication, breathing inhalers, and uh, trying to get as much vitamin C as I could. Um, so, uh, so March came, and uh, and as all those awesome hikers started the AT uh, through hikes, um, Baskets is back. Obviously, uh, he's hiking with uh, Garden State, um, and I noticed Chauncey is. Uh, as well on her way. She's just cleared Fontana Dam, but um, uh, watching watching some of their videos really got the bug. Oh gosh, if I could just if I could just sort out my work life and my hiking life, I'd be fine. Um, we'll get there. So I did manage to to uh, sit down and put together a hiking plan for uh, most of the summer. And uh, I'll be doing this hike and a couple more hikes um, on weekends um, as, as much as I can. Uh, next weekend, I might just do a short one-day uh, walk because uh, Sunday is obviously the season premiere of Season 8 Games of Thrones. So I'm not going to uh, <laughs> not gonna be hiking for that one. I'm going to be home on the couch. And then... Uh, I can't tell you that uh, at the end of May, uh, we'll be back on the North Country Trail. Um, we're also going to spend four days uh, doing a landscape photography shoot, which is uh, I'm really excited for. That's going to be uh, it's going to be nice. Um, really, have been trying to figure out how to work the photography piece into the hiking piece. Um, the pack today is a little heavy. I'll give you that. Uh, Got an extra two and a half pounds of camera gear in it plus some batteries. So uh, <clears throat> hopefully we can figure out, just make that work. That'd be really really cool. Um, and then uh, J July uh, fourth weekend we'll be back in Nuevo uh, to finish up another 40, 45, 50 miles. Um, again on the North Country Trail th that'll give me my, uh, my 100 miles on the NCT for 2019. And then um, in August, for my for my birthday, I'm gonna treat myself to another hike. <laughs> so we're going to uh, we're gonna go back to the Shawnee State Forest in Ohio. Uh, I'm gonna do the whole 40 mile loop, and then uh, uh, then in September we're going to uh, gonna drive down to the Cumberland Gap historical park and uh, 
going to um, going to hike the I think it's called the the, the Ridge Trail, and um, that uh, that looks promising. It's only 21 miles long, but I'm going to do it um, out and back, so I'll get a total 42 miles. Um, just have to finish up and reserve reserve some campsites so um you can't do that until you're uh you're, you're 90 days in advance so gotta gotta wait for that but it's, it's on my calendar to do so um and then i've also taken some time off over christmas and new year's um that, that one's a little bit more challenging to plan um because i'm just not sure where I'm gonna end up or land for that one, um, but I have—I uh, think I have almost two, two and a half weeks, maybe almost three, where uh, I'm a, I can be away from the office. So, kind of, uh, kind of looking forward to that. I have to just figure out how to um, how to put it together and where to go. Someplace, maybe someplace out, a little warmer, and. Uh, a little drier, but who knows? We'll see. Options, right? So, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to let you know that we're, we're still here. We uh, we got some uh, we got some new gear. We're gonna shake down, um, and uh, gonna try to uh, continue to get things as minimalistic as possible. Kind of a hard hard to say word. Try to get them as Essentially, get as light as I can be. Um, that includes a new pack, which I have, which is lighter than this one. Um, so we'll uh, we'll debut that and uh, see if we notice a, notice a difference there. It's it's lighter, but it's also it's also bigger. Um, and uh, like I said, there's some also some ad new additions of equipment that we're gonna have to try out. So we're gonna have to uh, make sure that. We uh, we get everything everything shaken out, shaken down, and uh, see how things work. So uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for now. Um, have a great day. Happy April 6th to you guys. And uh, I guess we'll see you down the way. Okay, so that wasn't, it wasn't that, I mean, it wasn't crazy steep, but it was a bit of an incline, and uh, man, I'm out of shape. Holy cow. All right, down here we go.
It wasn't very big, but wow, just up, 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 and here we are. Whew. Now, we go down. So, hey there. Um, we got about 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, we're at the junction for marker number two. Um, obviously, number 15 is that way, number 3 is that way, and uh, number 1 uh, is actually behind us, that way out. So we're going to take one back out to, um, to what looks like a road walk, and then uh, from there, uh, yeah, Walk back, probably about, probably about a half a mile road walk, um, back to um, back to the entry point where uh, you enter for the rustic, the rustic camping, and then uh, we'll be able to uh, to set up our uh, our tent and maybe get an early dinner. And uh, I don't know if the clouds hold off. I was uh, was hoping maybe uh, be able to catch the uh, the sun going down over the lake, but um, don't know. We'll see. Um, Fitbit says <laughs> um, Fitbit says 14,250 steps so um, I'm gonna have to try to equate that to uh, what the Garmin says as far as miles go I was trying to figure out um, how, how that would work out um, basically how many steps would be a mile so um yeah so far it's been uh it's been a great day um met a uh met a couple people along the way um one guy retired a retired mechanic um uh, was out mountain biking on this new mon on this new mongoose which was pretty cool um ran across uh another young lady just out hiking um which was uh, which was cool. She looked like she was on a, on a mission, and then I bumped into two uh, two uh, two kids. Uh, must be over from uh, from Michigan State University. They were wearing all their Sparty gear uh, in uh, in preparation for uh, for tonight's big game against uh, against Texas Tech, I guess. Um, so I don't say it often, um, but Fred Shepard, if you're watching. Uh, go Sparty. Um, yeah, so, so that was, uh, that was, that was pretty cool. Um, so just take a little break here. I'm going to, uh, finish up, head back to the, uh, back to the road, take the road walk back, and, um, we'll see what we can get into for this evening. All right, we'll see you down the way. So we are stepping off the trail. I assume number 17 is that way. Yeah. Marker number one 
So we'll take a picture of that. And then what hike would not be complete without a road walk back to camp. And for dinner tonight, only the world's best food ever. Welcome to ramen. We're in the magic, magic sauce. Mix it around a little bit. That looks good. So, I have the new MSR um, pot. I, I upgraded. I got a bigger, a, 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 a bigger pot. Or I guess it's not necessarily bigger in um, volume, but bigger in circumference or diameter. Because um, I actually upgraded the fuel canister um, to uh, to one that's twice the size of the the, of the small one. So they come in two sizes. Um, one weighs 7.1 ounces and the other weighs 13.6 uh, ounces or something. Um, this one's the heavier one. Um, but the reason I did that is because it's twice as much fuel. But, and when you buy it, um, the smaller one costs $4.95 at REI. And the larger one that you see now costs $5.95 at REI. So you're getting twice the fuel, basically, for a buck. Um, plus, it's actually... Um, it's a wider footprint at the bottom, so it's sturdier when it holds the uh, when it holds the pot, um, which allowed me to get rid of um, two other little small pieces of gear that I had. One was a, a base to hold to, to hold the fuel canister to stop it from from tipping over. So, um, gonna give it a, gonna give it a try. That's one of the one of the new items, um, and the other new item that we're trying is instead of a spork, we've gone to a full-handled, long-length spoon. This is a, a Sea to Summit uh, titanium uh, spoon. And um, I think this is going to work out better because uh, you can get down into, you know, the, the mashed potato bags better and the, the cans, of, the, the bags of tuna, you can get down, down into the bottom and, um, and uh, you can really just... Uh, Make it all make it all work. So let's slow that down a little bit. All right, I think we're uh, cooking with gas now. Right, dinner won't be long bonus item that I added to the pack and I'll um, I'll include a, um, a link below is um, this this hook here it's actually um, it folds up uh, into the size of a normal carabiner so it's a carabiner down here in the bottom but on this axis it rotates and then this handle flips up and down and then it comes up and it, and it allows you to to, uh, to, to hook it uh, in this case I just hooked it on the eye bolt of this post here, but it's allowing me to, as you can see, I have my entire pack uh, just suspended uh, off the ground, and uh, you can hang it on a hook, you can hang it on a branch, uh, you know, just about anything as long as it's off the ground. Um, and uh, I, I, you know, I wasn't really sure if it would work out or how it would work out, um, but so far, I mean, this is the first time I've actually used it, but um, it seems to be, uh, I like it. Um, it's it's nice to be able to have the pack off the ground, and I was uh, I was also able to get stuff in and out of the pack quite quite easily without without bending over or having the pack on the ground. So um, yeah, like I said, I'll include a, a link below um, what the item is. Um, they come in different sizes, and they come in different capacities or, or weight ratings. This one's weighted or rated for a 50 pound capacity, and um, they, they, obviously they come in different colors. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, so far so good. I like it. I think I'm gonna have to keep that with the uh, with with all the gear. Well, it looks like the noodles are boiling. Dinner is gonna happen. Yeah, I'm starving actually. Can't you tell? All right, 
Okay, here's home for the evening. Get the uh, Big Agnes uh, Ultra Fly Creek 2 with uh, all the goodies inside to keep me warm. That's the uh, Thermarest Parsec 20 degree bag. And underneath that is the um, the uh, Neo um, air mattress. And uh, then I have the Thermarest uh, Z pad underneath that. Um, both, um, you know, with some, I think our values are plus, plus three and above. So that uh, being on the ground, that should uh, definitely keep me warm. But I, I think, I mean, the temperatures tonight are only supposed to go down to low 40. So I think I'll be more than, uh, more than comfortable inside there. Okay, hey there. So it's um, again, April 6th, 6.30 p.m. Um, we are sitting at the picnic table at the campsite. Um, shelter's ready to go. Everything's inside. All I have to do is, uh, it gets chilly later and dark. All I have to do is climb in, uh, catch some Z's, which will be great. Probably sleep in tomorrow. Um, that'll be, that'll be, uh, nice too. Just some, just something about, maybe it's the fresh air, sleeping outdoors. I, I don't know. I just tend to sleep much better. Um, it's a kind of a, a, a nice, there's a, there's a lake probably a good, uh, 600 yards away and, uh, uh, there's a nice, nice breeze blowing off of that. So that, um, I'm, I'm sure I'll be, uh, I'll be cool for most of the night. Um, did the official, um, bear hang and, uh, have the, uh, the food bag hanging in a tree. Um, I used a new method instead of the, um, uh, the carabiner and the steak, uh, called the PCT method. I used, um, um, it's called a, uh, the, the two CR method. It's a uh, two, two cords and a ring. Um, I'll, uh, post a link to the video where, where I found that, um, I was watching um, uh, Joey. He has a channel called My Own Frontier. He was hiking with a, a gentleman um, that uh, showed him showed him that method, and I was like, "Wow, that makes a lot of sense. It's easy." So, um, so I put the uh, the pieces together, and I thought I'd give it a give it a try. Um, you know, first time out this year, and that that worked out really really well. So, like I said, I'll put a link to uh, both. Um, the uh, the video for the uh, for the two CR method as well as uh, I'll uh, I'll uh, give you a link to Joey's videos too his his videos are amazing I mean he's he's hiked everywhere um just uh just just insane I uh, I really love his videos especially how he uh, he uh, he shows you the map and he shows you where where he's starting and where he's gonna go and then you know usually at the end of the day he'll pull the map back out and go okay we started here and we went here and and uh, that's uh, that's really really uh, it's it's, it's kind of cool. His uh, his his technique and his videos are just awesome. Um, yeah, so um, we're all we're all set. I gathered some uh, some wood uh, for a nice little fire uh, later on once dark gets here, and then um, uh, I think I'll uh, just let that um, go for a little bit, and then once that burns down, I'll just I'll just call it a night. Um, Looking at the Garmin, um, on the trip stats, uh, it says my average moving speed was 2.6 miles an hour, which is pretty close to, um, which I was, I was actually happy with that, um, because, uh, that's, that's typically where I've been at, 2, 2.4, 2.6, 2.8, um, but, um, the total trip distance, it says I only hiked, um, 5.1 miles and uh that may be close um it wasn't as long as i thought it would be especially you know based on based on the time it took to to do the, uh, the to do half um i you know i knew it was short but i i thought it was more um around uh around maybe eight 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 miles but um it's only working the garmin right now is only working off of um ping points at every um every 10 minutes. So <clears throat> when I actually 
get home and sink it. <coughs> Excuse me. When I actually get home and sink it, um, it will uh, actually take the logs, um, which it's keeping uh, every two minutes, which will give it a more accurate uh, footprint of of the trail and the and the total distance miles uh, or t- t- total distance covered. So, um, but all in all, not a bad day at all. Not a not a bad bad. Uh, in fact, great day. The weather is just unreal. I mean, um, I expected it to be uh, cooler, actually. Um, it seems like it just, once the sun got out, it just got warmer and warmer. And uh, it is just absolutely perfect. And the nice thing about uh, getting out and hiking or maybe uh, doing an overnight camping trip um, in early April is uh, there's no mosquitoes and there's no flies. So um, it's... Uh, very very comfortable loving it you, i mean you take a chance because you never know what the weather's going to be but um yeah today i really really lucked out and uh so that's gonna do it for tonight um we'll uh we'll have some more adventures tomorrow bright and early um and uh we'll see if we can't finish up the uh the other half of this 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 trail in in the park and um I don't know how long it'll take. It, you know, it may be three hours, it may be four hours, maybe five hours. Um, I'm hoping I can get up. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow afternoon, so I'm, I'm hoping I can get up and um, get get things moving a little bit and then, um, beat beat the rain. But it, even if I don't, you know, the last hour, hour and a half, and the rain's not going to kill anybody. So uh, definitely looking forward to tomorrow as well. All right, that's going to do it for now. We'll see you down the way.